What's up guys, Jason with HOJ Forge today, wiring up the switch on the Forge Press build. Let's get going. So first thing I need to do is figure out how to mount it. I think with the way I built the frame, I can use just a simple piece of flat stock, mount the switch to the flat stock, mount the flat stock to the frame, and it'll be in pretty much the right position right there. So lucked out that way. Um, and then I just have to figure out how to wire it up. I don't know what that's going to involve. I'll have to take apart that whole electronics box and hopefully I can just piggyback some wires onto the switch that's already there. But we'll see what I have to do when we get it open. So I want the switch, see how the handle moves away? I want the switch mounted something like that. So when the handle comes down, switch releases. Pretty much straight up and down should work. And I think something pretty much like that should work. I drilled the holes in here just a hair bigger than the holes in here. Hopefully that gives me a little uh, wiggle room when it comes to um, the bolts and everything. So yeah, so that gives me a good three-eighths of an inch of play in there. Alright, so that's mounted to that. Just take this and mount this. Drill a hole in here. Maybe one all the way in the bottom, so there's two points of contact, but might not need it. It's not like there's going to be a ton of torque on this thing. I can already tell. It's going to work. This is great. Well, I already knew that part was going to be relatively easy once I, uh, I found out that I had lucked into being able to just use one piece of steel. So now i got to get into the wiring. So I'm going to open up that box. And I've got, this is just a piece of cable off of, uh, I don't even know what, some electric motor I was going to throw away. Um, I always save these things because you never know when you're going to need them. And here I am, and I'm going to need it. So I'm going to open that up. I don't even know how you get in there. Probably a few screws. And... Um, See what we can see, I guess. So I'm not the one to lecture anybody on safety. I, uh, I tend to forget to mention it. But of course, A, don't do these modifications. This is just for entertainment value. B, if you do try these modifications, make sure the dang thing is unplugged before you start taking the electronics apart. All right, so I've got this switch here. It's got the power cord coming in, hot wire, ground wire, or a hot wire, negative wire, ground wire. Um, and then I'm assuming that the white and the black are the hot wire and the cold wire. So it would be white to white, black to black, if it was just going to be a continuous circuit. Um, I don't know switches like this. I usually... Every switch I've ever known, all you do is you interrupt the hot feed and you wire the switch into that. So I'm thinking I may just wire these two white wires together and then take these black wires, the hot wires, and run them out of the box over to the new switch. And I actually uh, uh, went and rated my... Uh, <laughs> I took a foot off my, my good extension cord. I was looking at the gauge of these wires, and um, this little thing that I have is, is nowhere close to what I need to do. So I actually uh, took a little bit off of that. So um, this is plenty thick enough, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start splicing some stuff together and see if we can get this working. White wires need to complete a circuit, so I'm going to snip 
these little connectors off the ends. Strip them real quick. And then I'm just going to use a butt connector to put these together. Could probably solder them, but heck, I'm lazy. Just to make my life easier, I've got some of these uh, uh, little loops things. I'm going to squeeze these on here. And that'll make wiring up the switch a little bit easier. So before I button everything back up, I've got the extension cord, I've got the power cord. Let's plug it in and see what happens, huh? First things first, make sure I'm not touching anything. Not that it, I think I'm going to electrocute myself, but you never know with me. Alright, here we go, plug it in. She's live. So at this point, I should be able to just push this lever down and it should engage that switch which should drive the rim and the motor at the same time I'm gonna see if I can get a camera angle where you can see it all see if I did it right alright this is the ram up here if it starts moving forward when I push this lever down we know we did it right here we go hope I don't kill myself <laughs> looky there and it's coming back This is just so cool. You, you push the lever and the thing goes. I did that. I will. Uh, um. I, I just think it's cool. Alright, so you don't need to see how I button this all up. It's just putting the cover back on. Um, and then for the, the pedal, I still haven't figured anything out. So to... to just start with I'll probably just tie a wire around it and uh, put a loop at the end that I can stick my foot in um, so the next video will be fabricating the dies and getting the top end all done and then we can uh, start putting it to the test and see and uh, one of the first tests will be I'll, um, I'll forge up a Damascus billet by hand and then I'll forge up one uh, with the press I'll do the same layer count um, you know, maybe something, normally I'd, I'd go about an inch thick when I do it by hand, so maybe I'll go an inch and a half, see if the press can deal with an inch and a half billet. Um, I know forging an inch and a half billet by hand can be kind of rough, so that might be the test. I'll see how long it takes me to do that by hand and see how long it takes me to do with uh, the press, and then everybody that says the six-ton press will never work might be surprised at how quick it goes but we got to get her finished up first um you know what i i don't know that i'm going to do a separate uh, patreon video for this one normally on uh, the patreon videos I, I just go into a lot more detail but this one is just a switch um and so there really isn't all that much detail it was just kind of figuring out how to wire it up so that it worked and i will uh, put a link in the description below to the forging it forward post where I got a bunch of uh, info on on how to do the switch right so um, I'll put a link to that you have to be a forging it forward member to see it but um, it might might help you if you're you're trying to do this on your own and trying to figure out how yours should wire up and all that fun stuff um, the some really knowledgeable guys with electronics and electricity uh, weighed in on that post and, and kind of helped me sort it out and figure it out so I'll put a link in the description to that and 
there we go next video we'll do the top end and i will see you guys later